Okay, so all the screws come kind of pre-screwed in, it kind of gives you a guide. You use the one tool they have included, you unscrew them, and then you screw them right in their places. Now this is the most complicated part, because a lot of chairs kind of want you to screw it in, fold it downwards like this, but... You kind of gotta lean it on its side, again, you gotta do it upwards. This is gonna be the worst part of the chair, but otherwise it'll go smoothly. Okay, so now we have the base all finished up, there you go. Now we're gonna do the bottom part where the kind of the legs and wheels go in. And again, you just kind of follow the basic pattern, you unscrew the screws, and you're gonna screw them right back in. Now the issue is, it might look like you're doing it right. It's very easy to put this in backwards. And in this video, I actually put it in backwards. And me and a friend built another chair once and we put it in backwards as well. So don't be afraid if you just do it wrong. When you pull the chair back, you'll know. So it should look like this when it's done. So the next step is just to install kind of the hand rest. And it's the same process. You have these bolts here, take them out, put it in. Do not use a power drill. Some people have, and this is how you ruin some of the bolts and strip out them out. Don't use a power drill. Just take your time. So not every chair has a footrest, but this one does. It kind of just slides on and off. Now as you slide it in, you're going to see these little two spots at the very back of the silver. There's these two little rubber kind of grommets. You put them there. That way the chair slides forward and back, but it won't fall out. Is it a cheap protection? Yes, but it works really well. When you install the chair, make sure it's facing this position. When you lift it up, you kind of fold it back downwards. And that's how you put it away. That's how you know you've done it right. Next step, just install the neck pillow. It's got kind of a belt buckle on it. And you just kind of clip it through here, and that's it. It's really that easy to do. Next step, you want to install the back support. Again, it's also optional. Some love it, some hate it. So the bottom part is going to kind of thread here through the back corner of the chair, just like so. And then the top part, you just want to kind of thread it right through the top of the chair, kind of giving it a nice back spine, and you want to clip it through the back. You can raise and lower it. And again, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. I'll catch you later. So what do I think of this chair, personally? Got a lot of interesting features. You know, again, this thing reclining as far back as it does. I mean, come on, look at this. Take a break from gaming and do some sit-ups. Yeah, it totally works. Uh, this footrest over here, pretty neat. You can't see it in this video, but you know, it's not a bad example of what you can add in for something. I guess it's time for my thoughts. So what do I think of this gaming chair? I love the design, the build quality, I love how easy it is to put together. This has to be the easiest chair to put together that I've ever used, and I love the colors. These gaming chairs are all about the colors, but they're very expensive. Now, you are getting good build quality and all, but keep in mind, the paint job probably has an extra $100 for the chair. That's really what you're paying for at the end of the day. There's a lot of nice Lazy Boy models that I really love. I do love these extra cushions over here, but they're not very practical. This one on the head, you know, if you adjust it, it can kind of be neat, I guess, but the one for the back, it isn't great. And honestly, a lot of chairs have that little kind of curve for that arch. This one doesn't have it. Would really be nice if it did have that instead of the optional pillow rest. And this does look great for a video, and it's a great backup chair if you got a buddy over. But it's as far as I can go. For me personally, do I recommend these gaming chairs? No. I wouldn't recommend any one of them. Maybe they're gonna maybe there's a different brand out there that I haven't seen, but honestly, they're generally all built similar. They have different materials, but overall, if I'm gonna be paying $375 for a chair, it's gotta be better than this one. I'm sorry. A lot of people love it. In fact, a friend of mine's gonna buy this off me because he really likes it a lot, so to each their own. If you want one of these chairs, you know what, just give it a shot, maybe you'll like it. Most companies let you return stuff. If you're gonna spend your hard-earned money, it might as well look good. And I'll tell you right now, in the looks department, nothing beats these chairs. Absolutely nothing, especially in my old chair. So if you wanna give it a go, go for it. Again guys, this is Mo, I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a comment down below, later.